You know, water is certainly an important resource and we use a lot of it. Right now, we've got serious drought conditions. Find out how that's going to affect your usage next on our Vata Insights. Hello and welcome. I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. Today, I'm at the Ralston Water Treatment Plant where we treat six billion gallons of water a year. I'm joined by Jim Sullivan, Utility Director for the City of Arvada. Jim, you're gonna to talk to us a little bit about the drought conditions and what that means for our citizens. Yes, I am, Mark. Our real problem here is the mountain snowpack. The snows in 2011, 2012 were pretty scanty. We didn't have a lot up there and we ended up using a lot of our water reserves. 2013 has started off the same. We've had a little bit of snow here in April, but it really hasn't been enough to replenish our reservoirs yet. Jim, as a result of that, we're looking at water restrictions in terms of people cutting back their water usage to two days a week. Why are we having to do that? The main reason being to preserve our water supply for future years. Uh, we can probably get through 13 reasonably good, but 14 and 15 are out there. Drought cycles tend to run three to four years in a row, so we're only really into the first part of this drought. Jim, I understand that one of our goals is to have water reduction by our citizens and the city of 20%. How do we do that? Mostly it's going to be through the outdoor watering program. We are restricting people to two days per week of watering. Uh, and we also want people to be very conscientious when they water. We don't want them to set their clocks and forget about it for the next four months. We want them to think about when they're watering and to water wisely. So as part of that, people are always concerned about their water rates and what their water bills are going to do. Can you tell our citizens a little bit about what impact this is going to have on them? Uh, we are requesting City Council to impose a surcharge. It's not a very steep surcharge, but it's enough to remind people that you need to be conscious when you're using your water. Uh, if you don't pay attention to the surcharges, you keep watering the way you are, it'll add about $17 a year to your bill. If you do follow the program, reduce about 20%, you can actually save 75 to $90 per year. Well, that, that's good to hear because sometimes I get some criticism and from citizens and say, wait a minute, I cut, up my, cut back my water usage and yet my bills go up. And this is gonna help alleviate that? This would help alleviate it. If you can cut back by even 5%, your bill probably won't go up at all. That's great. Now, Jim, in looking at this program and so people can get more information, where can they get that information so that they can be in compliance and, and cut back their usage? Uh, we've established a website called www.arvadadrought.org where all this information is out there. We can also have you call the drought hotline at 720-898-7805. Uh, that's a menu system where you can learn about the drought or talk to people, our staff about it. And we'll also be putting information out on Facebook, Twitter, all of the social medias. Now, another comment that I get sometimes is that, well, wait a minute, is the city going to comply with its own rules? Talk to us about that. We absolutely are. Uh, the, the Parks Department has been handed a water budget that is 20% less than what they've used in 10 and 11. Uh, we took 12 out because that was a rather wet, a hot year for them. They used a lot of water. So we took them back almost 30% over what they used last year. We're also shutting down some, a favorite feature, the Old Town Fountain. Uh, that one sprays water into the air. It's one of the ones against the rules. We are following the rules that were established by Denver Water. Now, Denver Water supplies water to 1.2 million people, and we're part of their system. They understand this stuff even better than I do. Uh, we really do need to conserve water. Uh, the, the whole, we're part of that whole system. You know, it's sad that we're going to have to shut down the Old Town Fountain because it's such a nice feature, but in times like this, we have to be responsible in our actions. Yes, very much so. Jim, what's the long-term solution? Uh, long-term, we'll continue our conservation programs. Uh, we'll continue helping people to save water where we can. We are also looking at uh, some expansion of our water supply system. Uh, we're participating with Denver in the expansion of their northern side. One of the problems we have around here is that the north side for Denver is very small, doesn't have much capacity in it. It's actually down to about 50% of, of total, and that has us always concerned. So if that 
can get a reservoir expansion on that side, that would tremendously help uh, our situation. You know, we've worked very diligently as a city council and a city staff to work with the Denver Water Board and the Denver City Council to have a good partnership so that we can share in that water gain that will help our citizens. Absolutely correct. Denver's the expert in the field, and we're definitely trying to participate and help them where we can. And that's what partnerships are all about. Yes. And I enjoy our partnership, Jim. Thank you so much for what you do for the city of Arvada. Thank you, sir. Conservation doesn't always mean doing without, it means doing with less. And by working together on programs such as this, we can really come out in a better place. Thank you for joining us on Arvada Insights, and that's a wrap.